God works through both of these means to bring a person to the point where they are reassured that it is right under God's providence that they take, take further steps forward in ministry. Nobody should take upon themselves the office of minister unless they are called by God. And the question is, what does it mean for somebody to be called by God? How does somebody know if they are called by God? God calls men to the ministry through two particular avenues. There is the inner call and there is the outer call or the internal and the external call. And the internal call is the, the work of God's Spirit in our hearts, um, moving in us and sensitizing us to things that have providentially happened in our life and, and aspects of our character and experience that lead us to realize that God wants me to serve his church as a minister. The experience of that inner call is going, by definition, going to be unique and particular for each individual person. It is a genuine, relational, supernatural, spiritual reassurance from God himself. I want you to be a minister in my church. Even when somebody experiences that inner call, there will understandably be, be doubts and questions and uncertainties, you know, it, 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 and, and that is why God calls people not only through that internal call, but also through an external manifestation of the call. And the external manifestation of the call is God working through other ministers and officers in his church who know the candidate and come to in a prayerful, uh, process of reflection together, come to the conviction that actually they also believe this person is being called to the ministry. But they, they see the embryonic gifts and they see some evidences of God's hand upon that person's life with a view to shaping them into the ministry.